question I get most, without a doubt, what size thread are you using and what stitch spacing do you use? Well, it was supposed to be a very simple video to make, answering that question has me rethinking my entire approach. So the discussion of thread sizes and stitch spacing, it's, it's a long one. Uh, there's no shortage of videos on YouTube talking about it and trying to sort out which combinations are best. When I first started in Leathercraft, I absolutely went down this rabbit hole. I watched all of those videos trying to figure out what thread to buy, which stitch spacing to use. It was one of the biggest challenges I faced when I first started in this craft. So one thing I find with this subject in particular, as well as a lot of educational content on YouTube, is that the audience that's likely to watch the video I don't think is addressed specifically. I found that in my experience when I first started in leather work, a lot of the educational videos that were discussing topics in general and not a specific build were way too broad. They just addressed way too many subjects of the craft and really kind of got into the nitty gritty that only more experienced leather workers are gonna start considering once they've handled the fundamentals. So in this video, I'm assuming you're a new leather worker or you've just gotten into it and you're trying to kind of refine where you're going. So with that, I'm not gonna get into all the extremes of the iron choices, the different spacings, all the different thread options, because there's a million of them. I'm just gonna show you broadly what you should be looking for. So with that in mind, I'm only gonna be talking about two different sizes of pricking irons and three different thread choices. I have a fourth just for demonstration purposes. So what we've got here are the two iron sizes that I use, 3.38 millimeter and five millimeter. I think these two sizes are really good size for any leather crafter looking to do small to medium size leather goods. The thread sizes that I use, 0 0.45, 0 0.55, 0 0.6 millimeter. I have 0.76 just for illustrating this much larger thread and how it looks with these size stitch spacings. So if you want the quick answer to this whole video, what I recommend for any new leather crafter only wanting to purchase one set of irons, four millimeter, either Japanese style pricking iron or a French style iron. And the size of thread is 0.55. I think that combination is gonna be perfect for any type of leather work you're gonna do. It's gonna get you in and guarantee that that stitch spacing and thread size is gonna work and then you can just focus on your skills as a new leather worker. A note on pricking irons that I will address. This is a set of diamond pricking irons. That's fine to start out with these. If you're looking to make an investment in irons, do not buy these. I don't think you'll be happy with them long term, unless of course the style of leather work you're doing is gonna call for these. What I recommend instead is to use Japanese style pricking irons or French style pricking irons. Both of these will give you a nice slant. And that's what my five millimeter and 3.38 millimeter irons are in these examples. So when I'm looking at these combinations, there's two things that I'm looking for. One is the amount of stitching hole that you see after hammering down your stitch. And also, how does the back stitch look? Those are the two things that I look for when I'm assessing which combination I'm gonna select for a project. So looking at the 3.38 against the 0.45, you can see there's a nice defined space between each stitch, which creates a nice separation, really highlighting each of those threads. I'll say the same is the case for the 0.55 millimeter. The thread obviously has a little bit more weight to it, but still, I think both of these are a really nice combination. As well, if we take a look at the back stitch, on both of these, it's very nice and clean, and those threads stack nicely. As we get into the 0.6 and 0.76 millimeter threads, the stitch hole is becoming smaller and smaller, and the thread is starting to run into the next. The back stitching is getting pretty jammed up in here, and for my 0.76, I wasn't actually able to back stitch because there just simply was not enough room for the needle and the thread to pass through the hole. So it's pretty clear to me that using 3.38 spacing with 0.6 mil and 0.76 mil thread, it doesn't work. It's a little too jammed up and I don't prefer it. So jumping over to the five millimeter stitch spacing, 
This is where after doing this test, I was quite surprised. So jumping right to the 0.55 and 0.6, this is where I normally sit with my five mil irons. So you can see the stitching holes are still quite defined with both of these threads, which I really like. Each stitch is very independent of the next and the definition is nice and clear. The back stitch, nice and clean. Everything's nice and defined. Taking a look at the 0.76, the stitching itself actually still looks pretty good. There's still a defined stitch hole left and each stitch is independent of itself. The, the back stitch is starting to get a little bit crammed. But what surprised me the most is the 0.5 millimeter. So I thought for sure that this was going to look way too thin and not proportional. But for me personally, I actually really like the definition that this combination gives to the stitch pattern. Each one of these stitch is very defined. That slant is really nice. And I actually like the amount of space between each one of those stitches. As I said, I think it really highlights that hand stitch look. And then the back stitch, because there's so much room, just stacks perfectly. So I'm really blown away at this, this combination of the five mil stitch spacing, 0.45 millimeter thread. Maybe I missed the boat on this, but this is fairly new to me. So in the comments, let me know what you think about this. Is this common to you? Have you used this all the time? Did I miss the boat on this? Does this not look good? What do you think? Um, let me know in the comments because I, I, this is very surprising to me. So just recap quickly, uh, for my 3.38 irons, I'm going with 0.45 and 0.55 millimeter thread. And for my five mil, I'm going 0 0.55, 0 0.6 mil. And now I'm really starting to think 0.45 millimeter works as well. So you're landing right in the middle. You get yourself a set of four mil irons and you can work with 0 0.45, 0 0.55 and 0 0.6. You have three different thread combinations that I think are going to work very well and most people will see as aesthetically pleasing. So that's my recommendation if you're looking for a set of irons and which thread sizes to get. So this is also a good time to say that none of these combinations are set in stone. There isn't a good or a bad combination. It's whatever works for your style. If you make the wallets and you use a certain combination, you like it, but nobody else does, great, who cares? If you are selling your product and the customers are buying your product, who cares what it is? There is no right and wrong, no matter what the internet tells you. My goal with this video is to knock down one of the hurdles that can prevent you in progressing in your leather craft. So if you want to keep it simple, four mil stitching irons with 0.55 millimeter thread, just do that. Japanese style irons, French style irons, it doesn't matter. Just go with that combination and then you can progress, learn what combinations you like as you get more experience. So to help with that decision, I've put together a reference chart that's available for free on my website and it compares the different stitching irons with the different thread sizes and which combinations I personally think work best. So for me, I've been quite surprised with the results of this test. I'm actually gonna go try the combination of five millimeter irons with the 0.45 millimeter thread. I'll end up posting the photos over on Instagram. So if you wanna go follow me there to check out the results, norfolk.handmade. So I hope you've enjoyed watching. I hope this video helps you in making a decision with which combination you're gonna go with. And as usual, We'll see you in the next one.